All right, this is the one. Come on. Over into the next bubble. Over, dash, over, dash, up, and dash, and... Hello everyone, welcome to Celeste, the Dark Souls of Platformers. <laughs> Especially since there's no jump. How do I jump? How do I jump? Up? Space bar? Maybe over here? Maybe I have to collect a jump item? <laughs> oh my god. Um, how am I gonna... Oh god. <laughs> Let me up! Let me up! Well... Oh, see, that, uh, that makes sense. I'm switching to a controller. You play as Madeline, a little stupid bitch who wants to get to the top of this mountain for some reason. And, uh, she spends most of her time just running away from herself, though. And playing these stupid wind levels. Oh my god, just let me up the mountain! God damn- This is the one, baby. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> you also have this really cool hotel level where... You have to help out the hotel caretaker to clean up his hotel and eventually try to escape from him because your evil twin pissed him off and he turns into Jack Torrance from The Shining. I said, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna bash your brains in. I'm gonna bash him right the fuck in. <laughs> it's not a very challenging game experience overall. But it does have some challenges, like the fucking wind level, god damn it. Ah! When will this part be over? The only real complaint I have is that you have to collect these four hearts that are hidden throughout the levels in order to get to the heart of the mountain, which is like a secret level akin to the bonus Star World in the Mario games. But I was never even told they existed till the end of the game, so I had to go back through and play all the levels over. Oh my god, you guys, I finally made it to the other side of the stupid bubble wind thing. Alright, we just gotta make it to the- no Oh! Shit! All right, over, get up, get up. Oh, no, 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 get up, get up, get up! Oh my god. In light of the recent Logan Paul controversy, this game couldn't have come out at a better time, really. The narrative delves into the depression and anxiety that Madeline struggles with and has a really positive message about those things and fighting through them. Metaphors about life and climbing the mountain and having those in your life who can and will help you through the dredges of existence. Even if you don't know those people are around, they are. This channel for me has become a therapy for my own eroticism, and interacting with my community is the highlight of my days. I want this channel to be a place of peace for everyone. The floating feather that Madeline visualizes to help her calm down. And if I can be that in any way, I will. I didn't mean for this to get so deep, but despite all the memes and stupidity, this is the underlying truth of why this channel even exists. This game really is a beautiful experience, and if you can find the time to play it, please do so. Matt Games, you did a wonderful job, my friend. I, uh, I give this game a 4 out of 5.